plus you don't want to scare your family members. I always see some dust around and people make fun of me. Sometimes I'm reading a book and my mind is in washing machine. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. At the beginning of the video I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my channel so we make sure you don't miss any of my new videos. In today's video I'm not going to cook anything for you. I think it's very important to talk to you a little bit. Uh, I've been at home for almost three weeks and I can tell that I'm feeling really good, that I still didn't have any day uh, feeling down. So I will tell you how I keep my mind positive and how I spend my time at home. It's the most important right now to stay at home. We are probably not aware of the fact how dangerous it is to be out there. So we must stay at home. That is not that bad because we still have electricity, water, TV, internet, telephone, we sleep in our comfortable bed, so we have everything. We just need to be self-disciplined enough to keep our minds working and to keep ourselves busy so we don't have really time to let ourselves go down or not to be in a good mood. Busy mind is happy mind. As soon as your mind stops to work for something, for a goal or something, you start to be bored and that's really dangerous. That can cause some bad thoughts and bad um, state of mind and we don't want that right now. So we need really to stay positive and focused on some beautiful things. First of all, I know it's very difficult, but we need to try um, to stay away from all the news and newspapers. Of course, we need to know some basic things, but uh, constantly to have all these bad news every day, all day, to read all of these things, and we cannot really do nothing more. So the most we can do is to stay at home and stay as positive as we can, because at the end, it all depends on us. I prepared here 10 things that you can do at home and keep your mind busy. Start working out. You have more than enough time, you're at home, YouTube is full of these videos, so it all depends on you. Now there's no time for excuses. I wake up early every morning and then I start doing my routine, a little bit of squats, a little bit of crunches, a little bit of push-ups. So that's something that you are doing for your body to release a little bit of energy and I, I think that you can dedicate 30 to 45 minutes every day. Take care of your body. You have everything at home to take care of your skin, of your nails, of your hair, to do your makeup, to look beautiful. I truly believe that it makes a big difference. When you look at a mirror and see a beautiful person there who is satisfied, it makes a huge difference. So take care of your body, be beautiful, do your nails, do your hair, take care of your skin. Plus, you don't want to scare your family members. Work on your immune system. That is so important, not only now, generally speaking, but now very important. So prepare yourself some hot lemonade, squeeze some lemon with boiling water and cinnamon, some garlic. Uh, I have a lot of vitamins at home. I take every day vitamin C, vitamin D. I, I give to my daughter all vitamins and I'm always trying to prepare some uh, warm drinks, uh, soups and a lot of liquid that also supports our immune system. Clean your house. I don't know about you, but I always see some dust around. To maintain your house clean every day, it takes some time, it, ta it takes some energy, so it's good for the house and it's good for you, for your mind, for your body. Um, 
is the similar thing like when you see yourself beautiful in the mirror, when you wake up to a well-organized, beautiful house and when you go to your kitchen that is clean and organized, it's much different than when you see mess around. Do your laundry. I wear everything once and put to wash. The same thing with my husband and my daughter. So there's always something to wash, to iron. So try to keep that in place. Organize your closet, your drawers. There are always these places in the house that you always say, oh, I'll do that tomorrow, I'll do that next week. You don't have time for that. So now is the time to go through your drawers in the kitchen, to organize everything, to organize your closet, your daughter's closet, husband's closet, um, everything, all these little things here and there uh, to see what you need, what you don't need, so your house can start to breathe. Connect with your friends and family. I really think that this situation is much easier because we have a telephone, we have internet, we have video call, we can anytime call anyone on another side of the world. I can always talk to my family, I can always talk to my friends. You can reconnect with some people that you haven't heard from them in a long time. So now is the time to talk to them, uh, avoid people with negative energy. That's very important. Um, call some people who are going to make you a laugh or you should make someone laugh and uh, you should help someone to go through these times. It's going to help you as well. Cook. If you don't know how to cook, that is fine. That is okay. Now is the perfect time to learn because you can find all the recipes online and you can call your grandma, you can call your mom and you can start cooking something. Even if you make a mistake, we all made a mistake at the beginning. So um, learn how to cook. If you already know how to cook, cook for your family. Uh, I'm so happy every day when I have an opportunity to cook something new, to prepare something new. It makes me happy and it makes my family happy and some of my followers and subscribers. Learn something new. I'm someone who is a homebody. I'm, I really love to be at home all the times and people make fun of me. I'm like a grandma. I don't like to go out a lot but I have periods of the year when we are traveling a lot and we are all over the place and then when I'm just in the house and I have my hobbies, I like to create a lot so this is the time to develop some of your hobbies or, or to start some new hobbies um, go through, through YouTube, you can find tutorials for everything possible if you have some equipment at home, if you love to paint, to draw, to make jewelry or um, to sew, now is the perfect time. So create, 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 that's the best medicine in life, create. Uh, I, I feel very blessed that I'm an artist, uh, that's a blessing and a curse, <laughs> every artist knows why, but I have an opportunity uh, to create every day and I truly believe that all of us, we have many talents, not only one, many talents and we are capable of creating and um, exploring ourselves every single day. Read a book, watch a movie, discover some new movies, new TV shows, you can read a book. I know many of us are like, oh, I don't have time for this book, I'm not concentrated. Sometimes I'm reading a book and my mind is in washing machine. You cannot really be concentrated, so now is the perfect time. You should read, your family members can read, or you can read something to your child, and um, you can entertain yourself. There is definitely many, many ways. I just told you 10 things that you can do while you are at home, and trust me, there is many, many more things. Each of these things has another five things that you can go deeper and deeper. Try to take care of yourself and of your family members. Do the best you can with all this free time. Use it in the best possible way. Try to grow. Try to maintain everything that is beautiful. Try to pray for all these people who need, who need us to stay positive right now. 
uh, develop this self-discipline because that is very important. In a moment like this, we understand how important it is to be your own best friend, how to know um, to create your day, to protect yourself from bad thoughts, from laziness. It doesn't mean if you're at home that you should become lazy. In my case, it's the opposite. Now is the time to take care of your soul, to take care of your body, to take care of your home, of your family, of your friends. So there is so many possibilities. Go to sleep every night with the thought, oh my God, today I did something really positive. Today I did something for myself, for my life and for the world. Yes, you are doing something for the world right now. You are helping the world to go through this very, very difficult moment. I love you so much and I prepared the recipe for you, of course. Stay with me and um, tomorrow I will surprise you with a new recipe. Take care and stay positive.